everything you need to know about fossils. Most of what we know or guess about dinosaurs and other ancient life comes from fossils. What are fossils? Fossils are the remains of once living things that have been protected in the ground and turned to stone. This process usually takes millions of years. Fossils can be animals, insects, or plants. They can also be a bone, claw, tooth, horn, shell, or footprint. Fossil Formation Imagine a dinosaur just died on the shore of a lake. With many hungry animals around, the soft parts, such as the skin and flesh, do not last long. Soon, there is only a skeleton lying on the lake shore. The position and depth of the lake might change until the bones are permanently covered in water. In time, sediment covers the skeleton completely. Sediment is material which falls to the bottom of oceans and lakes. How does the sediment cover the skeleton? Small, light grains of dust and dirt are swept from the land in rainstorms and streams. They are carried into big, slow-flowing rivers, into lakes and into the sea. Here they slowly sink to the bottom of the lake and cover the skeleton. As the bones become deeper, the sediment above them gets heavier. Under pressure, the sediment becomes solid rock. Millions of years later, the lake would have dried up and slowly the wind and rain wear away the rock covering the fossil. Eventually, the bone closest to the surface begins to appear. Now it might be discovered and collected, if not, it too will begin to wear away. Mold and cast fossils Sometimes, the fossil itself dissolves away. It might be replaced by another substance, such as calcite, which is a form of limestone. When this happens, the calcite takes up the exact shape of the object that disappeared. How does this happen? When the sediment is being crushed into rock, it presses closely against the fossil. After the rock is formed, the original fossil begins to dissolve. This leaves a hole in the rock, the exact shape and size of the object that disappeared. Rocks usually have small amounts of water seeping through them because they are always exposed to the damp. This water deposits very small amounts of materials, such as calcite, in the space. Slowly, over millions of years, the hole fills up with the calcite. Since the hole was exactly the shape and size as the original fossil, the new calcite fossil is also the same shape and size. The calcite fossil is called the cast. The hole left behind in the rock, which is the shape of the fossil, is called the mold. Trace fossils There are other, rarer types of fossils, such as trace fossils. When animals came to the banks of rivers and lakes to drink, they often left tracks in the soft mud at the edge of the water. If it was dry summer, the lake or river might have become shadower and not have covered the footprints again until autumn. The mud would have baked hard in the summer sun. When autumn came, the mud containing the track might have been hardened so much that the water could not soften it again. Over time, sediment would have fallen into the footprints, making a separate new layer. Then, the sediment and mud would have turned to stone and become a fossil, called a trace fossil. It is all because of fossils that we know all this, and there is still so much waiting to be discovered. Thank you for watching!